And in shortly, this government, Narendra Modi, this government, we are going to increase by two years the 40 lakhs. I want to see that. I want to see that we should be in future the Make in India program. We need more force. I definitely feel by some more years, some more, some 10 years or 15 years, I definitely feel India will be the topmost country which can give to the all international standards to the technical force. That is the, that is the aim of the Narendra Modi's government. That's why he has started a separate ministry. Earlier it was with me. And even in the stipend, even in the stipend, when I introduced in the parliament, the large number of opposition sections, they were raising me questions. I told them, in the Apprentice Amendment Act, I have made the partnership with the MSM units. And that partnership is the 50% stipend that will be given by our ministry and 50% will be given by industry. This is the first time we have taken this decision. Earlier, all apprentices used to be born by industry. And now I made, now I made all the ITIs in the country, industry will lead as a chairman for the ITI. So that more practical training will be more. Not only the, this thing, we have increased stipend. Stipend earlier we used to give 2,000 rupees. Now we are providing 4,000 rupees stipend to the trainee. 4,000 rupees for training. And this also, it is only apprentice. Don't be misapprehension, that is a job. We have made it very clear. Apprentice is apprentice. How many seats you need, you have to give the training. Suppose if any industry wants some 10 seats, you can take that one. That's why my stress is, we are more giving priority to the priority to the MSM units which give the standard standard employment. India needs standard employment. Whereas in service sector, service sector also give more number of employment. But it is undependable. It is not dependable one. For example, IT sector. IT sector which gives much of the much of the employment. But IT sector as far as concerned is a fluctuation. Fluctuation. So that's why the only MSME units which will give the more job oriented things and more employment generation which will give the dignity to the workers. So that's why I am happy that these clusters, these MSME units clusters, they should be increased more. You need 24 hours current. 24 hours electricity is the prime necessity for MSM units. I assure you, in coming future, Narendra Modi government, we are going to give, within the two years of period, 24 hours electricity to all industries. Another important thing is, our banking system, the loaning system, this is also very, very important. The loans which were earlier given to the, with the high interest rate, now the government which is going to take many of the reforms, many of the reforms, I am definitely hopeful that interest rates will be come down and will be more benefit for the MSM units. For that reason, even for the smallest, I, as a labor minister, I feel that my worker should not be a worker. My worker should become an entrepreneurship. Worker should become an entrepreneurship. He should not come only for job. 
he should become a job giver. He should not be only the job seeker. Job seekers are more. I want job givers should be more. That's why definitely, once again, I am assuring you that our labor ministry, our labor ministry is also for yourself. We are going to have all the labor laws. All the labor laws, we are going to make it into codification. For four codification, two things are necessary. One is, whatever the laws are there, we are going to simplification. Simplification and rationalization and cumbersome process we wanted to avoid. So for these things, I am going to come in the next parliament session, the four labor codes. With that labor code, all the 44 central existing labor laws will be amalgamated and with that code, the industry and worker will be definitely very, very comfortable. There will not be much of the inspection raj. Inspection will be done by the computer. Inspection will, will not be done by the inspector. This is a new system which we are created. We want transparency, we want accountancy. So that's why I am happy that in Telangana also, this uh, your new concept which has come, I am very happy that this new chapter which has created, BNI is a very, a very, a very right platform for MSMEs to exchange the business and expand their businesses. And I am happy that in Telangana, there are approximately 21 branches are there. And I belong to Telangana, and I belong to Hyderabad, and Hyderabad surrounding area, many, many MSM units are there. MSM units are there. We will definitely cooperate even in Telangana. Whatever your chapters are there, whatever you need for industry, we want employment generation. Unless employment generation is not there, the poverty cannot be eliminated. So to reduce the poverty, only alternative is to give employment. To give employment, we have to encourage more MSM units rather than big, big units. That's why I welcome all of you and also the organizers, those who have invited me to participate in this function. I thank them and thanking you all. Thank you very much.